Skip babbity boop bop. What's going on up top? It's your boy Alexa here, and welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Cross. We are going to start chapter five. It's about blooming time because we haven't really done much in the story for a while. And I managed to find Lau, so he'll be joining us on this epic story mission. Of what what should I whip up today? You know, I like to think that uh, we are actually a good cook, even though the first thing that we offered was uh, fried chicken. And I guess we're going to go through all of these. So, we're not going to go with raisin wine. A pot pie does sound nice. We had chicken last time. Jesus, why is everything chicken? Ooh, foie gras. You know what? We will... Since we got Lao with us, let's have something fancy. That is a great idea. Of course it is. I suggested it. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Thank you, Linley. Wait, is she still cooking? Why is he eating? Something else now? Tatsu can't possibly eat any more corn. Oh, right. Don't worry. This is something new. Let's be snacking. Delicacies. Wagra. Wah grub! Wah grub sounds delicious! Maybe Tatsu try some when Lele finished cooking. Can Tatsu help? Actually, you can. In fact, I can't make it without you. Somehow I oh, feel like really? she's not I just saying need that. One little favor. Of course! Tatsu is at your disposal. What can Tatsu provide for Chef Lindley? Potato. Your liver. <laughs> Tatsu is here to serve, not be served, Lindley! Oh, just remembered. I have goose liver. Lindley did that on purpose. Lindley is vicious and nasty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Dig in. Honestly, it looks like she took bread and just squirted raspberry sauce on it. <laughs> but then again, I don't actually remember what foie gras is. Isn't it just like... <clears throat> I can't get Just over your cooking, bit. Lynn. That was delicious. Thanks, Gwyn. Glad you liked it. I hope it Who was Who invited those two? If I'd known we were expecting company, I definitely would have made more. Yes, yes. Then maybe Tatsu could eat full portion. <laughs> Sorry, Pint Size. What Gwyn lacks in stature, he more than makes up for with his monstrous appetite. Damn. He's kind of a pig. Okay, first of all... Damn. <laughs> And second, you just ate almost double what I did. Who's the pig here? I'm assuming you didn't just come here to argue. What's going on? I love how the guy that I actually invited here is the one that doesn't say anything. So, we had this extermination order up around the northern coast. Some violent indigens that got a little too touchy-feely. Apparently banged up a few outfitters. Pretty standard stuff. We're all prepped and about to head out, and then bam! Another job comes in from Commander Tank Top. I Commander mean, Tank Top would cave your head in. All, but seriously. Sounds rough. All right, you take the indigents, and we'll take Vandom's job. Thank you, Colonel. Let me walk you through the intel. These images I'm about to show you are from a probe in Oblivia. The one that we put down? Is that a ship of some sort? I can't really tell from that distance. Yeah, it's hard to grasp the scale with such long-range images. Whatever it is, it's getting hammered. Friends must do something to help poor ship. Tatsu will not stand for this injustice. Says the one guy who never actually fights it. Talk to him. It's difficult to say for sure from this, but that craft on the right, I bet it's ganglion. It shares aspects of their mech design. Our thoughts exactly. The assignment is to get there and confirm one way or another. We don't know who built the ship that's under attack, but as the commander so elegantly put it, our enemy's enemies might be our pals. I'm inclined to agree. That We're gonna settle cool. here on Nero. We'll need all the friends we can get. That's for sure. Alright, thanks for the info. We'll take it from here. Thank you, Colonel. I mean, I'm here too. It's not just Elf. God. All right. 
Rolling the thumbstick really does not look good. <laughs> Let us get out of here. I mean, head to Oblivia Ingress in Oblivia. That means we can probably just TP straight to Oblivia. Because luckily, we have a probe out there. So we'll go to the Twin Archers. Oh, actually, I probably could have gone somewhere closer. Damn it. Actually, we went to one of the furthest ones out there. We actually have a data probe that's practically right on the location at um, FN301. Because it's just plant any data probe. And Although, I think that's the only one that's... No, I've got two data probes there. Because I'm baller. I'm pretty sure it's during the... Um, a plant one during the multiplayer mishap. Which, you know, conveniently is actually a story point. I don't think that's why I was going out there. I think I went out there to go and kill something. Right, so let's head over. Just casually do like a full loop to get over there rather than just taking a short rotation. Alright. Cutscene! Welcome to Sandy Bum Canyon. That is a beautiful name. AKA Olivia. Huh? Olivia? Friends really name it that? You know I said Olivia. Uh, Lindley, listen to Tatsu. This place always have sandstorms. Sands get everywhere. Therefore, Sandy Bum Canyon. No pun ancestors name it just fine ages ago. That or does it has rock solid. Think she better rock name her than solid. native Mirin people? <laughs> rock what? solid logic. I no. Look at Lindley's face. Good. He's just like. Tatsu accept Lindley apology and forgive. This time. Uh. That killed conversation. Strange. There's nothing here. It was hard to tell the scale of it from the grainy images. But that ship should have at least been big enough to spot from here. Hmm. Yeah. Huh? Elma, look! Another new Xeno species. Hang on. Maybe I can pick up what they're saying. So they're not ganglion, at least. <sighs> yeah. Couldn't they have used anything it else for their like synthetic voice? Them to me. Friends, friends, Tatsu knows those are Manon. Manon appeared on Mira maybe year before friends. Hmm. How, How long that is a year on uh, what is it, wherever the hell we are? Just Tatsu, the ganglion, and now these Manon. Don't you find it a little odd that we can understand these alien languages? Oh. Good point. So it wasn't a translator. I mean, the obvious answer is that everyone speaks Galactic Basic. Right? Must be something like that. But we haven't been using our comm devices when we've been talking with Tatsu. That's pure well, Tatsu is fluent, more or less. Tatsu, did you who's study our really language? At all. A friend's language? What language are we speaking right now? What language? No pun, of course. Friends, no pun. Very good, by the way. No. See, Xenoforms have different anatomy, physiology, different vocal setups in general. It seems likely they would struggle with our pronunciations. And yet here we are, conversing. But if they can't even produce the sounds, this shouldn't be possible. No, it shouldn't be. Unless, our words aren't being perceived as sounds at all. Maybe our intent is getting across some other way. But how? Could it be something about this planet? Magical translator planet. <laughs> Someone sounds pretty intrigued, huh? 
Well, what if it is some kind of new phenomenon? Aren't you curious to learn more? All right, now you're starting to sound just like L. I was thinking the same thing. Okay, yes. already. Friends talk less, help Manon more. After all, Tatsu have reputation as hero pawn to uphold here. Sure. sure. Right after a quick snack. That's what you say. <laughs> I'm not sure how much we can help, but we should at least make contact. Agreed? I'm sure they won't find me threatening at all. But what we really should do... That's not it. We should throw our boy Lao a little bit of extra gear to make him... You know, just have that little extra punch. Okay, so we don't have any weapons that we can give to him because he is a class that we've never really run into. And then... Oh, we do have a weapon for him, but it's the exact same... But a lower level, so it actually has a higher cooldown and less stability, I guess. We're going to throw him the best headwear that we can that isn't Ugg. Or a Scouter. Well, those are like Kojima glasses. Alright, so... Submenu... Uh, well, that's stupid. I was kind of just looking for something that would... Kind of like the survival goggles. Basically anything that wasn't actually a full-on helmet. Okay, well I guess the worn blade headset is the best we can give him. And then for body wear... Ugh, he's... he's Taking hits very well. I'm not gonna give him L's body wear, that's weird. So he's too low a level for those. So just... I don't wanna give him those, because that just it just feels so. Ah That actually benefits him quite well. Like it's not as high defense, but if you look at all of the positives it gives him, we will give him Lin's body wear. <laughs> I actually probably weirder. Let's switch that to. Oh, that's cool. I want to wear that now. But the stats. Uh, and then I guess we'll just go from the top. The combat sleeves. Wow, we really do not have. On him. We're just making this man mad skimpy. And then we're gonna remove his leg. What? We're gonna switch his leg wear. This man looking so casual. Alright, those are easily the best. I guess. Yeah, because last body wear. <laughs> We've made him look so casual. He's he's definitely gonna be our front runner. Just you know, walk up like, hi guys. Cheeky peek at his arts as well. And he has 144 battle points for us to throw at him. So let's quickly check his skills first, so that way we don't overdose on battle points spending. Because uh, he needs some stuff. Alright, so. Melee arts. Uh, we don't need extra range. Quick reload would be quite cool. Boost electric damage by 200% if they have shock. Alright, so what we. That means we just need something that. It gives him a chance of shock. Alright, so we're gonna have Conductive Strike. Oh, he hasn't learned it. What the hell? What level is this guy? Oh, that's useless. I thought he was a higher level than that. Damn you to hell. Probably should have paid attention to the fact that none of those were, like, whited in at all. Right, so those are the four that we can have for Lao. So, deals electric damage. Right, so we'll... Ooh, do not remove. 
So we'll upgrade all of those by one. So this one just deals weapon damage and stagger. This one is weapon damage and appendage damage, so it's good at breaking off extra pieces. And then first down deals weapon damage and inflicts topple on humanoids. Alright, so let's take a look at the other stuff he's going to get. So Raijin boosts critical damage, restores HP, and reflects electric attacks. So what of these cause shock? None of these cause shock. That's kind of saddening. Oh, I need to sneeze. I muted my mic. Whoop. Ah, uh, we are back. Alright, so none of those give shock. I guess we'll just bump everything up uh, to level 3. Yeah, so everything's up to level 3, and then we'll have 80 battle points to spend on everything else so we can just periodically boost everything up. So now, let's go find them Xenoforms and not jump into the giant canyon, because that would be idiotic. I actually don't know which direction they were, but they're not aggressive, are they? And uh, if you go back and watch the mishaps, if you only just dropping into periodically check on this channel then you will be able to see how well it goes when you take on these non-aggressive um, indigens. They are pretty cool though. What level are we now? Level 17. So we're nine levels behind Big Man Paolo. I kind of want to take him on, but I think we'll do that after we clear this chapter, so that way we'll be a high, closer to his level and able to easily take him out. Or at least take him out with less difficulty. I think this is actually the way to go because um, that, other, that other place was listed as a tail, which suggests that it's not connected to the main body of land. Right, so there's a giant snake killer that's just coming out of the ground. They, according to Zoro, are sensitive to sound, so don't be going about jumping all over the place next to them. Uh, it's kind of close. Oh dear. Also, there's a boatload of Grex over here, which you can actually take on with relative ease, as long as too many of them don't pile on you, or you accidentally get into a fight with like a level 90. That just happens to be, you know, just over there. Is this a cave? Let's not go in there, because we're going to get murdered. And also because we have a storage. Wait, there's something that can get behind over here. Can we? Up. It is archaeological level 2, which is something we do not possess. Alright, mysterious Xenophon that we know is called a Manon. Greetings! Greetings. Good save, man. Good save. Sorry for the scare. We're from a planet called Earth. The ganglion are enemies to us as well. I mean, look at us. We have that guy in the back over on our far right. Do we look aggressive? Ignore my giant cannon. Happened. Oh, oh, okay. I got this one. Let me answer this one, okay? 
I must say, I am incredibly uninclined to help them, considering they're like a mix of Jar Jar Binks and Chipmunks, which are like my least two favourite things in animation. Okay, so in other words, if we can destroy their weapons, your ship can escape. Exactly! They have three turrets set up around the area. You see them now? We need you to destroy them all, okay? Please? Got it. We don't want the ganglion controlling the airspace here any more than you do. We'd be happy to help out. You mean it? You help us? Yeah, aye, task complete. So we just got reward tickets, which means we can now do multiplayer. <laughs> Woo! Right, so where are these on? The, ugh, they were quite a while away. I guess we're running further inland. Let me bring the gamepad closer to me. Take it off charge for a little bit, in order to figure out where the heck we are going. Alright, so, turning in that direction. You know, I'm failing to see how we're supposed to get over this, considering half of these... Half of these are, like, floating just above... Just off space of the canyon. So, like, one of these, we have to go all the way inland and all the way round. Which is kind, it's soft implying that we're supposed to be around level 20, which is kind of like what we are. We're, we're like, just short of it. These won't fight you, which is great, but if you get into a fight with the Grex, it will partake in the fight. So apparently it's tight with the Grex. Apparently. Oh. Be careful not to jump too near plants because they will mess you up. And I'm pretty sure there's a giant turtle somewhere around here that will attack us. Yeah, those things. This and this is what I was talking about. Me. I assume it's just me, but I can't see them. That's going to do some damage. Alright. Uh, let's throw my off its screen up, uh, throw some blackout on it, and oh, but you can heal yourself. And I will. Oh, that's that's increased evasion for everyone. Damn. Uh, then you'll need this, and Elma's gonna die. Nope, Lau's gonna die. I'm completely wrong. That's awkward. Because we kind of need him to not die. So he can gain experience. Oh, wait. I can revive him. Well, that didn't work. I had, I had, I had 10,000 thingy. I, why did he not get back up? I don't understand how revival works. Well, it's all on us, which means we're both. I blame the fact that I was trying to help Lau. Well, it is a good thing that we have increased evasion and increased HP now. We can heal ourselves again. Okay, so that missed because of our increased evasion. We're going to stab him in the side, get a little bit of health, and accidentally use the wrong move. Alright, so that evasion up is really what's keeping us in this at the moment. Although, we are going to take a hell of a lot of damage soon, I'm sure. We're going to have to start switching intelligently between these. This can hurt. And that did a lot of damage. Damn it all. Alright, so where will it spawn us? Who knows. At the very least, we found a point. We're in, so we're in some sort of landmark that we can just respawn easy enough. We managed to run by this Pathfinder place. That's quite convenient, actually. Because I'm sure we'll be seeing here. If, in fact, it teleported us ahead of where we were. We got picked up by the Pathfinders. They do good work. And now we can take out the 
Arit, which is surprisingly very near one of our structures. Oh, dear lord. You know, I'm not entirely seeing how we're supposed to shoot down. How the hell do we do this? Don't mind me, I'm just going to sneak by here. Very slowly. And nobody will do. What? Whoop! Well, see you guys. And we took 4,000 damage. Alright, so that was a thing. That did not go very well. And we'll teleport so not everyone else does. What? How the hell are we supposed to do this? Because I'm sure they're not expecting us to be level damn 50. Like, maybe that place just happens to be very conveniently near where we were going. I am genuinely baffled. Okay. That is slightly easier to deal with. Let's fight you because you're a lower level. Oh, that's because suddenly everyone decides to get involved. Wonderful. I've got to stop missing this there. Oh, that's not good. Lindsay wants to die. Alright, so Lin's down. That's not good. Alright, so we'll repair him. We'll throw up a recuperate and then a beamer. Ah! I got the back again! Alright, so it's just me and Elmer. Alright. Alright, up at the screen. We'll do the throw up some blackouts so they should start missing a little bit more. And we're on the side so we're going to get one of those and then do an Elmer. Might as well throw out another beam barrage because it'll hit both of them. And I guess our aura was still active, so that is critical. Right. right, so we're managing this slightly better. That was not the best. Right, so we boosted our potential. And we, we will split a few. And those. Oh, I'm about to. Alright, so that did not go well. I am just throwing as many green thingies on me as I can. We have taken out one of them. It's a shame though, because the others are going to miss out on so much XP for this, uh, because all of these fights ended up getting linked. As long as I don't just die miraculously at the end of this, or just like just before it ends, we should be good. Oh! That was a clutch heal, because I was going to die if I did not take it. Right. Okay! Oh. 
Ooh. I don't know why they even bother. That was kind of close. All right. So clearly, our team needs a little bit of work. Let's see if. Ugh. Is there anything else we can throw on this man? We cannot throw any new weapons on him. None at all. And he's wearing the best headset we can give him. Alright, so in terms of gear, we're pretty much screwed. Uh, arts, I think Lao... Okay, well he got Eagle Eye. So we'll up, we'll upgrade that. Oh, that's level four now. Uh, we'll boost damage for damage for one BPL. Well, so I accidentally screwed myself there. Right, so we haven't destroyed the first turret, but what we will do is we will take down this prone purger one on four, which is totally the fairest of fights. Okay, so open with my office screen. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, the turret's now in the fight because uh, beam attacks. Beam attacks get everyone in the fight, whether they want to be in it or not. Right, so I'm gonna heal and throw up an evasion on everybody! And Lin can catch this heal. And I think we will full specs on myself and heal on the slit edge. And then move around and be mad for all the damage. Alright, we're seeming to be doing not too badly. I really should have thrown that up on Lin, but you know, I'll heal myself. Yep, I was right to do so. Uh, I think I'm just going to chill here and throw up evasion on everyone and a cheeky little heal on myself. Alright, so Targeter Z is the name of the turret that we will be no doubt bodying very hard. We're actually going to lock on the launcher first because I feel like that will keep us alive longer. And you know, everyone's doing pretty well. Like, we're not taking too much damage on the lowest HP, which, you know, isn't really the safest. But Lao's staying alive, Lin's staying alive quite well. And we are now close. That was a back attack. That was quite silly. I think I'll throw up an evasion on everyone and recuperate on myself because I'm feeling a little bit of damage. I wonder if I could have done that slightly differently to get more damage. Doesn't matter. That is the first turret down. Oh, damn. Two to go. Let's move. Okay, so that is the first turret down. We're not going to be taking on that stronghold because that would be suicide as we learned, but I'm thinking I'm going to call this one here and we'll take out the other two turrets tomorrow or whenever I get next round to recording this, which could be a while. I'm just glad to be back in this game and not getting my butt repeatedly handed to me. And also to have cleared a squad mission without contributing anything, even though I was on the single player lobby, which isn't, you know, usually multiplayer focused. So all in all, it's quite good. We got Lau on the team, and wow, I just look, look at his HP compared to everyone that's not mine. Wow, okay. My HP is low. We should do something about that. Not entirely sure what, but we shall do something about it. So, thank you all for tuning in. If you're enjoying this series, then make sure you smash that like button and you hit the subscribe if you're not already to make sure you catch the newest episode whenever it comes out. It's usually a Wednesday. It's practically always a Wednesday and it's every other Wednesday if I have my everything together. Also, if you'd like to take another look at a Let's Play series that we're doing with the Broski, we're playing Digimon World Dawn and Dusk at the moment in our new series called Dual Play. If you'd like to see that, then take a look in the description and you'll be able to catch the other Every Other Wednesday series that we do. Anyway guys, this is me signing off and thanks for tuning in.